Hello, my name is Lucie Klus and today I am talking to you from Tampere, Finland. I am about to present to you a work of me and my colleagues entitled RSS Fingerprinting Dataset Size Reduction using FeatureWise Adaptive K-Means Clustering. In case you are interested in this work or have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me on my email lucie.klus at tunifi. And also, I should mention that this work received a funding from EU Horizon 2020, Marie Skłodowska Curie Actions, namely AVER project. Today, I will first talk about the motivation behind our work and then summarize the goals of our paper. Following, I will describe the proposed method, its input parameter and datasets we use to evaluate this method. Next, I will introduce the evaluation metrics and summarize the main results. We will finish with a brief conclusion. Variables are emerging as one of many future markets of Internet of Things applications. They are sensor-based devices worn on human body. Some of the examples are smartwatches, heart rate monitors, baby control and tracking devices. There are many requirements on these devices, such as their small size and light construction. Since variables are able to receive and transmit information wirelessly, they can be used to localize the user. Nowadays, accurate positioning information is required at all times and may bring numerous advantages to its user, including safety and protection in case of emergency, entertainment, targeted marketing, or even better reception. As satellite navigation signal is not always available, for example, for indoor positioning, or as it may drain the battery of a device fast, an alternative positioning methods were developed to cover the areas without reception, to improve the limited accuracy, and to drain the battery of devices slower. Such methods include fingerprinting, using various signals such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, infrared signals or magnetic field. Other alternative methods may include, for example, map matching. Fingerprinting involves comparing fingerprints, such as combination of RSS measurements at unknown location, with fingerprinting database, which consists of many pre-measured fingerprints linked to specific location, in order to estimate user's current location. This method is mostly used locally, for example in single building or area, and has several requirements that have to be satisfied. The database of the available fingerprints has to contain sufficiently high number of samples. It also has to contain high quality samples with accurate positioning information. The fingerprinting system needs fast, accurate and efficient fingerprint matching algorithm to work reliably, ideally real time. The challenges of fingerprinting lie in acquiring large and high quality databases of samples and having well-optimized software to ensure sufficient accuracy. Reducing high computational requirements of the fingerprinting system is one of the challenges that many researchers are trying to improve. The main goal of proposed solution is to efficiently reduce the size of the fingerprinting dataset. By doing so, the method reduces the storage requirements of the system and it increases the processing speed thanks to working with smaller amounts of data. The method is designed to be able to update the existing reduced fingerprinting dataset with a new labeled data. In order to reduce these computational requirements, this work proposes a novel approach on applying clustering on Wi-Fi RSS datasets. The proposed method utilizes k-means clustering combined with the substitution of RSS measurements with a reduced alphabet representation. We validated the method on 16 different datasets and offered the source code of our method for the research community via Open Access Repository. The proposed method for reducing the fingerprinting dataset size consists of two stages, the first, offline stage, and the second, online stage. In the first stage, the model finds and reduces the alphabet representation by performing the k-mean clustering on the available datasets of fingerprints. It considers every measured value as a separate sample, 
whereas traditional clustering of RSS fingerprints considers the whole fingerprint as a single sample. As a result, our method replaces every measured value with the closed centroid label. The centroid coordinates represent means to transfer the label data back to the RSS values. The second stage of the operation is designed to process the newly measured fingerprints. The new fingerprints values are transformed into the reduced alphabet representation and added to the existing dataset. The centroid coordinates of the used clusters are then updated. The only input parameter of the proposed method is the number of clusters. It is calculated as a square root of the number of unique values in the dataset. As previously mentioned, to evaluate the proposed method, we utilize 16 different Wi-Fi fingerprinting datasets from the universities in Finland, Spain, Portugal and Germany. More information about the datasets, the way they are gathered and processed, may be found in the cited paper. In the scope of this work, we use the following evaluation metrics. Mean square error as one evaluates the mean square error between the original and recovered data from the initial dataset after the first stage. Mean square error S2 evaluates the mean square error between the original of the testing dataset and its recovered version after the second stage of the algorithm. Delta MSE describes the difference between the two MSE metrics and evaluates the ability of the method to adapt the clustered centroids to the new data samples. The mean 3D positioning error ratio describes the ratio of the fingerprinting localization accuracy of the clustered dataset and the original dataset. Its value smaller than 1 refers to the increase of the positioning accuracy while applying our method. Finally, the compression ratio is the ratio of the original and reduced dataset sizes. In the table, you can see the numerical results of the method while being applied to the 16 datasets. Some databases show much higher number of clusters, up to 80, for example in TUT5, which is caused by the real-valued measurements in the dataset. Real-valued dataset measurements are represented using 64 bits. Since integer-valued datasets have smaller range of possible RSS values, their measurements are represented using only 7 bits. The average results show both MSE metrics to be smaller than 1, proving the difference between the original and reconstructed data to be low. Minus 0.015 data MSE proves great adaptability of the algorithm to the new data. Mean 3D positioning error ratio shows the positioning accuracy increases while applying the proposed compression scheme compared to the raw data measurements. The compression ratio shows more than 12-fold reduction of the dataset size of the real-valued datasets and 2-fold size reduction of the integer-valued datasets. More detailed analysis of the results can be also found in the full paper. To conclude the presentation, we proposed a novel application of k-means clustering on the RSS fingerprinting datasets. We proposed a model with two-stage architecture with offline and online stage. The proposed method was evaluated on 16 different RSS fingerprinting datasets, showing the results of high compression ratio and increase in fingerprinting positioning accuracy. Additionally, we published the codes for our method on Zenodo. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. In case of any future questions, please contact me on my email lucie.klus at tunifi. And also, I would like to thank for the funding we received from EU's Horizon 2020, Mariskorovska Kiri Actions, namely the AVER project. Thank you.